Before we get off, talk about your relationship with uh, Dave Portnoy. Hate him. Oh, he's a peasant. <laughs> no, he, he, Dave, Dave's uh You always get on a show and you guys just go toes all the fuck. Yeah, we, I think I think we're kind of similar in terms of like really loving the like going at one each other one another or not even going at one another, going at anyone. I kind of enjoy like the I'd rather have a podcast where we're going at each other than we're like all oh, lovey dovey. And so he's kind of like that. But I remember I first got to know him through like Twitter. Like he, I was a big fan of Barstool, like thought he was hilarious. And then started somehow like, you know, maybe a couple tweets back and forth to each other. And then I remember being like, all right, well, he, he wrote me one time. He's like, when are you going to come work for me? I'm like, I'm not going to fucking work for you. Like I took it like personally. Yeah. And I think that he probably saw like, all right, well, I'm going to give it to this guy. He's going to give it back. And it's a pretty good thing. But then as Barstool grew and grew and like everyone just sucks his dick and kisses his ass. It's like, fuck you, dude. You're five foot seven. You couldn't, you were good in high school baseball, but you talk about how athletic you were, but I'm six, four. I'll dumb you in any sport. And you're trying to big time everyone. So I love the guy, but I know in every aspect besides like maybe comedy and like growing a business, I'm better than him. <laughs> Seriously, why I'm, don't you think I'm better uh, than him at everything except for like why don't you growing a business or like he's pretty funny? But there's times I could even go toe to toe with him in funniness. But I love him in funniness. In funniness, <laughs> like you want to be funny, Dave? It's so, we, it's so we were talking about like humor and like if you're good at it or but not. I also remember mm -hmm. like I, so so I was a like like I said I was a, I love Barstool. So I was driving the old Milton office. I actually live like probably a mile or two from there now. But at the time, like all my buddies were in, grew up in Milton. And I ended up living there. So I was driving through there and I saw him walking across the street. There's like a hardware store across from their old office. And I was like, Portnoy, you fucking pigeon. And he's like carrying like, what do you used to eat all the time? Panera. And he's carrying, he's like looking around. He's like, who's that? I was like, this fucking guy. But I've always, thought, I've always thought he's one of the funniest people. Bro. He's one of the funniest people in the world. And it, so I've actually, you know, been really thankful for him. I've told him that too. Like, because without Barstool, that's what everyone says. Like, oh, Chickles is a monster. I'm like, Chickles is nothing without Barstool. I can openly admit it. Because we had these, their, their fan base as listeners. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, if yeah, we're... Stoolies go fucking hard. Yeah, Stoolies are unbelievable. The most loyal fan, fan base in the world. And, and I think that with Dave, like, he wants guys to give it back to him. Like, he doesn't want people to kiss his ass. But naturally, with how big he's become, that's just how it is. But fuck him. Oh, does Will kind of kiss his ass? I mean, it's tough to watch. Oh, shit. Oh, well, you just fuck. nudged over at me, dude? No, well, I didn't. We don't want that. It's a hard deal to watch sometimes. He was on this podcast. No, I think it's... It did uh, all right. You know, he was on the bus. I think I'm just yeah. cool with everybody. You're just a nice guy. Yeah. No, I'm actually, not. hey, as far as... God damn. I keep going back and forth on you. I'm flip-flopping hard. Go ahead. You can go with the other Will, way. Will, uh... As far as like a camaraderie guy, like a locker room guy, there's no one better I've ever met in my life who gets, around, who gets along with everybody. Even if he doesn't know somebody or he knows he's met them before. He'd be like, what's up, dude? Good to see you. And like dap him up. And like you could just tell that person's like, yeah, Will loves me. That's like, Will doesn't give a fuck Will doesn't you. even know you. know you at all. Oh, what are you talking about? But that's a good thing. I'm He's complimenting you. Me. Yeah, but, but you're acting like, like I don't give a fuck about the person. No, you care about people, but it's like you, you when you come in with that energy, it's not like I you're giving that energy because there's that special to you. you. He's lying to you right now. He yeah. did outside. I went to shake his hand. He goes, no, get in here, buddy. Yeah, and it was awesome. He felt kind of warm, right? I was like, fuck, I love Will Compton. It all changed, it all changed when his teeth changed. Before... I, when he hugged me, I go, look at this fucking guy's white jibs. They're whiter than those numbers right now. Yeah, Jesus dude. Christ. Yeah, those things are standing. 30K. They look great, though. 15. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Got the half off deal. Yeah. NFLPA. Dude, that's the only thing they've ever done I wish for me. NFL, NFLPA was that fucking useful. <laughs> fucking trash. Dog, see, with the old teeth, you had to buddy up to people so they wouldn't just fucking Yeah, but old, by old teeth, you weren't winning people over near as fast. You were kind of like, hey, yeah, people put me in a van yeah, somewhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where's this kid live? He's like, hey, that guy's really nice. Yeah, but don't take his candy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if he gives you a drink, don't drink it. People lean to Taylor. Hey, how do you get in here with you? <laughs> Fucking hey, dude. I remember when he first got those teeth. I never even noticed how bad Will's teeth were. He was like were. the guy in something about Mary. He's like, hey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's well, the, they, well. They, he would act like nothing even happened. Were they bro, real bad? Were they real notice, bad? Bro. They were yes, look fucking up. bad. They do especially now. When you're around me all the time, people probably didn't think it, but I'm taking selfies. Look at that. I think this comes up on every pod now. <laughs> 
Oh, let me tell put you that, something. Put that, put the top row middle me, up. You look like you went from meth head to like successful podcaster. It's so <laughs> funny you said that because back in Nebraska, my, uh, Holy my boy. Shit. Where are you from? Missouri. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I got a exactly. Missouri looking mouth. But oh back when I played in God. Nebraska, somebody had tweeted, Will Compton looked like he's a meth addict. And my boy Nick had saved that tweet forever. So Did the left one get chipped? Tell me it got chipped. Were you born like that with the no. angle? <laughs> No, hey, you that one had to get I was, chipped. I was chasing my little brother around the house, and I tripped and fell into a door and went face first in the door, chipped it, stared at myself in the mirror as I held it and just looked at myself and started crying, bro. Bro, those teeth are no. like, like, like our baby old. teeth. You know what I'm saying? How they all kind of spaced out? Teeth. Yeah. <laughs> all gum, no hey, teeth. Hey, look at this motherfucker, dude, the nice ones. Hey, but here's the thing. That was the people, pose. People will be like, oh, your teeth, like, Dude, why wouldn't you do this if you didn't like your jibs? They look amazing now. The best yeah. investment I've ever fucking oh, had. Oh, bro, bro, without a doubt. And when he got them done, he comes, he tells me we're working out. It's the summertime, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get my teeth done. I took it seven with you. Yeah. You're like, bro, why? Like, who cares? He's like, oh, I got my new teeth done. I'm like, dude, your te other teeth weren't that bad because you don't even, you don't realize. Like, oh, I, don't, I don't look at you and be like, yeah, you know, all right. His, you know, small hands, big ears. I don't look at that. You know what I'm saying? It's just life now. And he fucking goes and shows me a picture of his teeth, like this picture. I'm like, like that's what they looked like? And I was with you yesterday? <laughs> that was it. Down there in the like third that? row is what I posted. Like I said, like cable television, direct TV. Those two where I'm wearing the white tee, third row. Oh, oh that, they look great though, honestly. They really look uh, good. Portnoy, Portnoy just got a guy from Rough and Rowdy new teeth. Oh, and you could tell it. Oh, changed, I saw it, that. It, it like changes life. He's like, crying. Yeah, like you can. You, bro, it cha yeah, it changes fucking that everything. Was Will Compton. We oh my buddy. god, you look were, at that, bro. Dude, you were like a four. Now you're like a seven and a half. <laughs> no, you got to give me more more strength than that. I'm like hey, a seven and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven and a half solid. It is, but you know. I'll tell you though, like. <sighs> My ears are huge. I got one huge really ear. Not that fucking but I would never really fix that ears. You can fix teeth, but like you can't touch ears. Like if I got my ear pinned back, I'm not the same Listen, person. If you can turn it, believe me, I'd love to get my ear pinned back. Hey, You're just saying they stick out. Wait, we got a spit and chickles memes guy. He's so funny, so funny. We f he just started doing stuff online, and we found him like the hilarious memes. And I told a story recently. I lost my iPods and uh, AirPods, and he put like the funniest picture of. Uh, like basically, a, a, it was a, it was an AirPod somebody was holding that was like the size of your leg. He's like, which AirPod he lost? I was like, this motherfucker. We found the guy. Now he tortures me. Bro, why don't you? Well, you could pin your ears if you wanted. If you can turn a penis into a vagina, it. I'm not doing you it. You can do whatever you want. Time out, time out, time out. You can pin your ears. Oh, oh bro. People pin their ears. Hey, Will, you can take a penis and turn into a vagina, and vice versa. <laughs> you can That's do whatever the point. fuck That's you want. Point. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want a dolphin arm? You go ahead and fucking get you a dolphin arm. You can do well, whatever the fuck the you want team. now. Yeah, he had the fucking dolphin too. I hope you guys like this clip. If you want to continue to be for the boys, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and check out our playlist. We have all the links right here on the screen. As always, biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. Also, go check out the full episodes, but always for the boys.